It's not that long ago that Mercedes used to say that whatever you found in an S-Class, you would find in ordinary cars 10 years later. So I'm going to put that to the test with the help of a friend of mine, Paul McGann, who happens to own this lovely S-Class limousine behind me. I live for cars, and in the last year I done a kind of a bucket list with cars, because I live for cars. And the car that kind of grabbed me was my last one, was a M Sport 5 to 5 BMW, but I was always still looking at other cars. It's like when you meet a savage bird in the nightclub, you're dancing with her, but there's always another bird over there that just is just catching your eye. Yeah? Bird, yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. That's, but, but no, but that's what I was. I had the five series, and when I got the five series, I said, this is it, this, I'm after finding my car. I bought six previous cars before that. Yeah, None. What, what's the six before this? Then? Where did it start? I mean, what was the first car? I, the I, I started, I always loved cars. Back in the day, I'd back wheel drive twin cams, Ford probes, I had Mitsubishi GTOs, I had series cars back in the day, and I had a Ford Granada um, 2.8 Gia in its day, a series car, I had GTI Golfs, I'm mad into cars. But I went down a sensible route because I, I have a business and I bought a van. I got very, very, very bored with the van, as you would, because I'm hugely into cars. So a year ago, I said, I'm going to write out a bucket list, I'm going to get the cars I always wanted. So I bought Sleekas, bought Mercs, bought a Jag. Bought several BMWs, bought a BMW Touring, which I thought I'd fall in love with. Didn't. Going back to the girl in the, dance, in the nightclub, dancing with girls, but there's always another girl you're looking at. Hmm. And then I fell in love. With this? With this? Yeah, no. You don't, you don't call it this. <laughs> <laughs> you don't come out to a girl in a nightclub and go, it's, it's, it's this. Is this the best you can do? No, sorry. No. I was dancing with my five series. All right. And I said, I'm sick of you. So I'm you're cheating on the fire series. Here, I'm right? bored. I had the fire series. I had it about. I had about three months, and I started to get bored. I just started to get bored, and I always wanted a Mercedes S, a Mercedes S Class long wheel base, black, mm -hmm. and this came up. Sold the BMW straight away, and I bought this. But what happened with this is, I fell in love. It's right. like when you fall in love for the first time. This, I fell in love. And it's like that perfect girl you meet. You're in love with her, but she's not in love with you. All right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and what I, mean, what I mean by that is, this Little car, comparison. this car. What do you think it means, this I, kind of comparison? I, it's a, this car, it sulks. It leaks diesel. <laughs> <laughs> it leaks diesel, right? right? But my BMW is an ordinary girl, bomb proof. She didn't leak diesel. This is after me in, in my garage twice because it's high maintenance. <laughs> There'll be letters from the public on this. Yeah, it? she's, it's high maintenance. So it's after me in the garage twice. Okay. My BMW was never in the garage. Yeah. Not saying all oh, S cast are going to be in the garage. But this, this one knows I'm in love, but she's not in love with me yet. So she's making me pay. My other car is an Audi Q7. I had this running perfect. I was driving my Q7 for a couple of days. This got jealous started sulking and now she's leaking diesel so it's going into my mechanic tomorrow to get that fixed. I love old big chunky cars. I like a, a man's car. It's that girl I'm after meeting in a nightclub with a short mini skirt, leather and she's going to cost me money. And that's Bob what this is. It is. See you, you, you have the golf. I know that's why I brought. See, what I no. brought was a technological marvel, really. You right? brought. So her. I brought a 191 yeah. Golf TS. He, he brought the girl's ugly friend. Oh. <laughs> not the ugly friend. Not the, the ugly friend. Because if you if you just show it there, Bob, I have my princess that I met in the nightclub. She's there. She's gorgeous. She's that's sexy. She's, she's wants big. to bring me for it. <laughs> <laughs> She's big but slim. She's tall but slim. I brought Spence. No, you. Modern, no, her ugly, her, her ugly girlfriend. When I go out on a Sunday for spin in my babe, she's black. On black, it's class, it's power, it's it's fun. But then Bob pulls up beside me with this ugly friend that always turns up at a date with your good-looking friend, and that's what you have beside me. You have weak. It's it's light. It's new. But this is solid. Right, let's find out who has more tech, me or you. I think you might have more, but I have more class. <laughs> <laughs> right. Limousine. 
There's a Zen up front anyway. Right, what tech? We have a clock, this is good. We started good, we started well. And we have dual zone, is it quad zone climate control? It is. Just, just before you do that. Oh yeah, what's wrong? You're in my baby. I know, I'm sorry. Okay. She's lovely. So, no, <laughs> just don't touch her. Don't touch her. She's like being touched just for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> just a minute. <laughs> I like her wood. <laughs> Steering electric steering wheel, electric steering wheel. Not only the electric steering wheel, remember it's 2006, these are electric. The seat comes into position. See it? Oh, yeah. yeah, your passenger seat will come into position. So the passenger can set the way he or she likes her seat. You'll hear that buzzing now, the car levels. So the air suspension is leveling it's out. It's leveling. It, now maybe it's taking a bit longer than it should because it's a 06 and it's after leveling a lot of times. Mm -hmm. So that'll stop in a second. Um, I have a tilt electric sunroof. I have my full electric sunroof. Remember, we're going back to zero six. And what I love about the S Class, and this is not in many cars, I can leave that opened, close it back over. I love this. <gasps> Sunglasses holder. Nearly missing from every goddamn car in the yes. market at the moment. Yes, yes I know. But not only sunbands, it's um, Ray Band. Oh, you got Ray-Ban as well. Yeah. All right. Okay. Look on. This hand-stitched leather. Yeah. Probably on a machine, but I like to think it's hand-stitched. Somebody sat down with a little needle and thread. I like, to, made his I like to think that, yeah. In China somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Eight years old. <laughs> no sweatshop for you. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Only, they, they closed down the sweatshop after my car was made. But even this, Bob, look at the leather. Yeah, there's leather trim it's on, on the around. door. It's cut around. We're working our way down. This Remember, this is a 12 year old car. So, this is this is the tech yeah. that was in 12 but years old. I, I want to show you the. Well, I have a lot of favourite things in this car, but one of my favourite things is if you look at the screen, look at all the stuff we have here. I can raise my car. Oh, yeah. I can do anything, but watch this. No, hang on, wrong one. Sorry, wrong one, Bob. I can turn the screen around yeah, to you. you. Tilt, it tilts. Yeah. It tilts. Yeah. Tilts. Why is that not modern screen? That tilt, that it tilts, tilts, yeah. Look. Is that so I can watch DVD? That, Bob, we're working our way down. Okay, we're coming to the Yeah, we're working our way down. Just a bit. Listen, this car will excite you. <laughs> it's right? already exciting. Yeah, <laughs> but, but you have to work your way down. You have yes. to caress her. You can't rush her because it'll conk out. So I'm going to tilt the screen over to me. She's got a point. Yeah. Working our way down. I'm going to come back to that screen in a second. Look at the finish. Mm. Your watch. It's actually a little bit cold to the touch as well, which is quite nice. It's and nice. I, instead of being I would give anything to take that off and put a, a strap on it because I love it. Do you know Mercedes make square face watches that are exactly like that? Oh. What, an actual watch. For I must get one. Not as big. The face isn't quite as big. I must get one. I, they may have changed now. It might be gone round to this. Day, but I've seen the square one for sure on someone else. I must get one. They, they are Mercedes getting touched. But this is where it gets interesting. Ooh, look at the way that door opens. Yeah. Oh, that, can I do that? Yeah. I want to do that. Let me do that. Yeah. Sorry, Carl, it's just nice. Look at the way it just goes. Oh, yeah. that's very nice. I love the action, the way it comes yeah. out. Absolutely fantastic. It reminds me of kind of old tape decks. Remember yeah. when you open yeah. the old tape deck and it would come out very yeah. slowly? That was Absolutely lovely. fantastic. Well, what that is, that's your DVD screen. So I can turn your TV around to you um, and you can watch a film. Which is just really cool. I can open. I hatch that. Look at that, side. it opens the right way, Mercedes. Or Did you notice that? I can open it this way. That's just that see that's clap. Why isn't that happening all along? Yeah. And that's my phone. That's his phone. That's Mercedes. Phone, 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 phone. Should be ringing in here. Phone should be on silent. <laughs> really cool. Fridge. Bloody hell. yeah. The size of that? I have a fridge, yeah. Space. And actually, this is belong to the last owner. If he's looking at this, he can have it back. It's shit. Robert Mizell, yeah. pure country. Yeah. I've heard of Robert Mizell. I yeah. don't know why I've heard of Robert he's, Mizell. He's, he's, okay. he's okay. But a fridge. And his first song is Who's Your Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> Water rinse to clean my lights. Right. It's on a separate switch, which is fantastic because I do a lot of driving and the last couple of days it's been, it's been mucky and that really clears your lights. How fast is the diesel leaking out? Um, it's not leaking very fast. That's gone down it's in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay because I have a can under the car. <laughs> I have a can we're, under the car. We're catching the diesel. I have a can under the car. We're going to pour it back in. And we're going to pour it back in before oh, we go. Okay. That's good. But see, it's, it's leaking diesel, 
because I've been driving the Q7. Because it's, it's crying. It's crying. It's crying itself to sleep. It's crying, and I see this car as as a female. Now, I've sat naked in this car once. Oh, and <laughs> no, Not yeah. in this seat. You know, on the no, seat. Right. No. <laughs> no. No, it's, well, it's that back seat there. I sat naked in the car one night with a mug of tea just to see what it's like because the seats are heated. And I wanted to see, would they keep you warm? And they do. They keep you warm. But why I'm going to, to sit, sit naked in the car is... All seats I forgot are heated. to bring any hand wipes with me. All seats are heated. Bob, I want to show you something. You've hand wipes? Yeah! <laughs> Is that the suspension adjusting every time you get yeah. in and get out of it? Yeah. It's leveling the car. So you're moving the car. Oh my god, this is fucking isn't it? Really comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? I've only got one question though. Huh? Were you naked back here? That's it, yeah. <laughs> that button there? Oh my god. I just You could lie down home in the back of this, couldn't you? You could, yeah. You could. See the your button there? This that, one? This that one? one over there? This one? No. This one? Touch it. Don't touch it, just stroke it. Stroke it. That'll push your whole front seat forward. Do you need to keep holding it down? Yeah. Okay. Go on. It's also nice with your clothes on. It is. That's the way I've always been in the back of a car. No. My wife is a um, very serious girl. She wouldn't come out naked in the car. I tried. Right, we have to go for a drive. Clothes you on or off? off? Take me clothes off. You can take your clothes off and go for a drive. I can, yeah. <laughs> why, what's, why, why are you worried about taking your clothes off? Solely Catholic Ireland, you can't take your clothes off the back of a car. <laughs> Man. No, there's a bit of an Italian in me, so I'm okay. <laughs> Something interesting about the boot. If you get into that boot naked, or if someone comes out of that boot naked, I'm going to be really impressed. Get dressed! <laughs> Just give her a minute. <laughs> Excuse me, could you get dressed please? Sandra, get dressed. Um, Mafia love these cars. <laughs> there's a dead, there's forget about knocking, there's a dead body in the boot. She, she ain't gonna knock back. Mafia love, the, <laughs> Mafia love these cars because of the shape, and I love, look at the shape of it, Bob, look. But yep. one finger, a little bit caressing, and boom. Zero six, up, up and but zero six. You could definitely get a dead body. Look at the size of the boot. You get a dead. Why don't you get in, get in and see? You get in the boot. No, but you would, look. You get in there, right, right. He fits! <laughs> Give me some ropes. Hold yeah. on, close that there. That's fine. You'll be back in a minute, Paul. I'll be yeah. fine. You're okay, Paul. No, listen. We're going to do this for Mercedes. You get in, and I'm going to try and get in and see if two of us fit in the boot. Okay, hold on. This is for Mercedes, okay? Imagine if we closed the button and it didn't open, the two of us stuck away. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on, you get in. Well, have you a phone in case it won't open? I have a phone, yeah. Okay. Maybe if it won't open. Well, we're stuck if it doesn't open. Oh, mind your back. Are you able to go with your back, are you? Let's see when I get in. Do you know how big I am? I'll know in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to tuck into you. Right? This is not... Can you do this in your fat friend? I got no. <laughs> Bob. We could try. Would the two of us fit in his fat friend? I don't think Look, so. Look, he's got a little shop bag on. Did you ever see that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Ah. Oh, man. Oh, I'm comfortable. You're the little spoon. Hang on. <laughs> God for that. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. See what I mean? Wait and see when you're trying to get out. As a Mafia car, I would have to say this is very good. Yeah. But, uh, you know what would be hard though? Uh, getting the dead body out. Wouldn't it? You'd have to get the help. You. <laughs> no, but you, you take the, bo the dead body out in sections, in pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Paul may have planned something. Now, I was at work last week and I came out and there was a, a, a 19-1 E-Class Mercedes. Mercedes, the nicest blue I've ever seen in my life in a car. Absolutely mm. fantastic blue. And if you're watching, <laughs> I'd love to meet you. He drilled a hole in the, minute of, the middle of his bonnet and put a, a silver horse on it, a horse's head. 
Did he? He did. On a new Mercedes. Brand new Mercedes. And I couldn't take a picture of it because his wife, girlfriend, or working lady was in the passenger side. So, so he drilled a hole in the bonnet and put a horse's head in Yeah. It. This is Kildare now, we're in of yeah, course, which means a lot of horse stuff around here. Yeah. Years ago, I'm talking maybe 15, 20 years ago, there was a huge trend with the horsey people that it, they had Range Rovers and you got a, a, a silver horse's head with a screw on the end of it and bolt, nothing bolt, and you drill through your bonnet and you put it on the front of your Range Rover that everybody knew you had horses. This symbol of wealth, ladies and gentlemen, the symbol of wealth. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, the ride quality is something like I drive a couple of hundred cars a year, and so you get in and get out. There's some suspension is hard, some suspension soft, but this is neither hard nor soft. Yeah, it's it just this firm, reassuring waft as it goes down the road. Do you know what I have for? And I, I, I don't people get me wrong either. New cars out there are fantastic. I'm not saying this S Class is the best car on the road. It's not by far. It's not. There's fantastic cars out there. I just happen to sexually fall in love with this car, and to me, it's the nicest car in on the planet. Right? <laughs> it's just a. I don't know how I'm going to move on to next. And if you have suggestions, let us know what I could buy next. But something I'm going to show you in this car, Bob, that I cannot believe that's in it for a zero six. What would you think that is? A man is dressed. Behind the wheel? <laughs> no, what is it? Nothing wrong with being naked. No, what? No. Uh, electric seats, air conditioning. We have all that. We've covered have all that. that. Yeah. Okay. Something no, that I've anything. actually seen you brag about in a car when I watched your last three films you made. Go on, then. What is it? Flappy pedals. Oh, look at that! They're hitting behind the wheel as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. And look, but look, look how perfect they are. Yeah, right there, little tiny yeah. ones. Yeah. So I can go up and down my gears if I want to pass a car out. Um. Mercedes S-Class, this version and this year don't have a sports box. It's just go forward or go back. Yeah, yeah. There is no sports box. But I do know something else about it. As you were driving on the road there, doing 60, 70, 80 kilometers an hour, that rev counter never went above 1,500 RPM. <laughs> <laughs> it's like no effort to the yeah. car to do that yeah. kind of speed. It's unbelievable. It just sits there churning along. It's unbelievable. No but I know we're going that way, but I just want to go up around this motorway and back down again because I wanted to just show you, show you something. And it's two minutes out of the way. I'm sorry, I'm going off. Okay. I'm going off track now. We're on a tank. You're going to kill me. Keeps clothes on. I'm okay. Yeah, we're going I'm off okay track. With that. I just want to show you something. It's what weight would this car be? Talking up close to two and a half thousand kg, so two about two and a half tons. You would be. Yeah, thereabouts. You would say. be. The long wheel base is is slightly heavier than the short wheel base, obviously, but. I just want to show you. Oh, the surge, that V6, that's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. What old diesels were meant to be, though. Yeah. These were Autobahn munchers, these yokes. So the idea was to bring the executive captains of industry uh, wherever they wanted to go on the Autobahn at whatever speed they liked. So totally stable on motorways. Zero six, we're doing the, the speed limit on this road is 120. I am bang on 120 now. Feels like we stopped it. It's, I am only at two and a half thousand revs. Yeah, yeah, it's just sitting there, yeah. Yeah. Two thousand, it's dropped down. It's, it's actually two thousand revs now because I'm after settling, yeah. Two thousand yeah. RPM. Two thousand revs, 120 kilometers. And this is my thing now of big engine cars do better on the motorway no matter what the fuel is. Yeah. A big engine will always go better. Yeah. I can that. drop my headrest in the back by pushing the button there, somewhere. I just want them. I can drop the, my headrest in the back if I'm reversing oh, and yeah. hit that button again and the headrest will come back up again. Bob. This is? Yeah. This one? One of them. It, can you see one with a headrest on it? Yeah, I, that's I'm, got a headrest on it. Where, is that the blind where's, where's the blind lead in the Yeah, press that. They're down, look. Oh, yeah. I press again it'll come back up. Oh, wow. They're yeah. actually good. That's I never. I've often seen them go down, but I've never seen them just fall. But like, for a zero six, electric it, headrest Bob, in the back. Touch her again. Do it again. That is kind of sexual. The way that goes down there, it's just because. Yeah, look at. Look. She's yeah. definitely like. Look. Maybe I didn't press that button. Hold on. Press right. No, it doesn't like me anymore. It's giving up. You're, you're after. You're after making fun of her now. Well, there, goes. there she's back up. But for a zero six, that is cool. That is really cool. I think it's cool. 
I think I, I think it's fantastic. I got hit by the crash in the Everybody in the recession, and I went from a, a Range Rover Vogue mm. to a Citroen Berlingo van. But thankfully, we're all coming back up from that now, and and I can see what the cars are on the road. The cars on the road are absolutely fantastic, and you've driven the new S Class um, Mercedes. What's that like compared to this? I would be sitting here in this car now. I would rather have this yoke because it owes you nothing, see, right? So six and a half grand, we'd say ten grand, all in, right? By the time you've done all your repairs, tires, and whatever else needs to get to an NCT, ten grand. This car owes you nothing. If you went out today and bought a brand new Mercedes S Class, you're talking a minimum spend on that car is going to be eighty grand. Yeah. To get the kit that's in this, you're going back over the hundred grand again, well over the hundred grand to get the kind of kit that's in this yoke. So. When does that ever pay you back? You, you walk out and spend 115, say, on a car like this yoke, and it halves its price in the next three years. Yeah. And then you get to pick up a bargain. So this is the Bangernomics proper edition right here, this thing. So what what do I buy after this? <laughs> when, when we fall out and it's not comfortable sitting naked anymore and the car hates me, and what do I go for next? You just have to go back where you were with Range Rover Vogue. You can't go much up from this thing. Even a Range Rover Vogue's going to break your heart. They're definitely going to be broken down. I had... You have to believe me now when I say this. I had 11 um, Land Rovers. 11? 11. I had the Defender. I had several dis- several Discoveries. And I had two Range Rovers. Right. Why did you... But did you just all burn to death when you claim an insurance offer or <laughs> one, one or two <laughs> claim insurance but we're not going to talk about that <laughs> resting and in my that is worth, that is worthwhile because that got me a brand new one um, <laughs> no the, I bought a, a Land Rover Defender that was my first introduction to Land Rover mm. and the back seats on the Defender are right over your wheel your back wheel yeah you ever drive a Defender? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're right over the back wheel, and our first stupid car. Just thought I'd tell you. Yeah, our first child. I well, I love the Defender. But I love them. Yeah, but they're and stupid. They and our fit. My elbow doesn't go anywhere. It's a stupid. That's the fun stupid of it. Car. That's the fun. But the Jeep will go anywhere. Your elbow you, won't go anywhere. Your right arm is more tanned than your left arm, right? Because in a well, actually, I'm all tanned because there's Italian in my blood. <sighs> so a bit Italian. I'm tanned. Um, I know this man in excess we, of thirty years, the, and he's always for the like for the ladies out there and some men out there probably. I'm tanned from head to toe because that's Italian blood in me. <laughs> oh, what man. I was saying to you was this used to happen thirty something years ago. As well. <laughs> what I was what I was saying to you was I, um, I had a def- actually I had an Land Rover Discovery first commercial and then I got a de- de- Defender, but the child seat is on the back wheel and my young lad God bless him used to get sick every time we go out so when we used to go off on a Sunday I used to say to Sandra just leave him in the house give him food give him water make him comfortable and just leave him in the house but she wouldn't so we had to bring him and because he kept on getting sick I had to get rid of that defender the chap that bought it off me thought he could bring it up the Sugarloaf Mountain right and turned it over and it was there for two and a half years <laughs> 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 he tried to drive it up to Sugarloaf. Yeah, and Sugarloaf yeah. is like a cliff edge, like straight, it's yeah. very vertical. Um, Ex volcano. It used to be a volcano. When I sold it to him, he said to me, "Will this go anywhere?" And I said, "Dude, this will go." It's a Defender. It'll go anywhere. Anywhere yeah. except Sugarloaf. Except forty-five degree mountain. <laughs> except but, for vertically up a yeah, cliff. But yeah. it actually it turned over on him. Him and three lads in the back of it. I don't think they're hurt. Well, not badly. And um, it's, it was there for two and a half years. We are due to change. And I will be changing my Audi Q7. Right. And my budget, I'm hoping if things work out the way I have it planned, my budget will be about 25 grand. So right. So I, I want to see what I can buy. 25 plus the Q7? Plus the Q7, or? no, plus the Q7. Oh, so nice, I want yeah. to see what I can... I'm selling the property. And what do you think you get for the Q7? If the pro- my Q7 at the moment is worth six and a half, seven grand. But I'm selling the property and if it sells... I'm upgrading a Jeep for my wife as a, a present. Um, That's a tough ask. Getting a present for the wife in a car. Yes. And not Range Rover, like. Not. T- when not when you see, I, I would call Range Rover. Would you? Yeah. But Range Rover don't do seven seats. They don't really, no. Unless they go to Discovery. Not, they don't do a Range Rover. Sense. Range Rover Sport do. Mm. Um, that looks weird, though. Yeah, they, I, I don't. 
I don't know what they're doing at the moment. Seats. I need seven seats, um, 25 grand with my own. I love the Audi Q7. Tell you what, we'll ask the audience here. Uh, leave a comment down below. What should he buy? 25 grand. Irish price is 25 grand. He's going to get about six and a half to 7,000 maybe for the Audi Q7 he's selling. So 25 plus the value of that thing. Uh, he's looking for a seven seat for the family, but the wife is going to be driving. So like vans and things are out. So a real seven seat would be nice. And something a little bit tasteful, not like a Ford Galaxy or any of that sort of stuff. Oh no. No, 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 no. It had to be something nice, wouldn't it? it had to be something kind yeah. of and we're not semi tasty. Oh, oh look, my God! Came, came. Got me neck. That's discovery. I like them actually. Um, <laughs> what do you not, want for your discovery? Yeah, we're not bragging that we have twenty five grand to throw the car because we. It's a. Are you are you warm? How much do you want for the discovery? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you must to buy a discovery. Uh, yeah. How much? If you like this kind of content, please hit the subscribe button because we can do more of these videos, obviously. They're a bit of a laugh. We're going to call this maybe the garage and it'll be a bit of fun between now and then. Something totally different from the car review stuff. So myself and Paul, of course, go back a hell of a long way, don't we? Uh, yeah. Well over 30 years at this stage. But we can do all kinds of things with cars, repairs and fixing up stuff and uh, you just all kinds of things. Hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this uh, and uh, make sure you subscribe to what do you think? I think I'm lost and I'm not sure where you or Roger told me to go down. So. <laughs> I thought you lived around here. <laughs> I know, I only going in circles and I'm hoping you get to the end of that before this crossroad comes. We're, we're going left. Is, oh, thank you. Yeah, we're going left. All left, I can say uh, is, right. lads, okay. we're down to earth. We're not bragging that I have money. I don't. I'm an ordinary guy. I can't afford a new Mercedes. But this is my the closest I'm going to get for an ordinary guy like me to be in an S-Class Mercedes is a dream come true and when I get behind this wheel I do turn into a bit of an idiot but I never thought I'd be driving an S-Class so this gives an ordinary guy like me a chance to drive an S-Class and now and again sit naked in my S-Class <laughs> with a mug of tea and a Madeira cake <laughs> listen to country rest music I like Madeira cakes I love I Madeira cakes like yeah, with the crumbs. Yeah, with the crumbs. Do you ever do buttered Madeira cake? Buttered Madeira cake? No, yeah. No. You should try buttered Madeira I, cake. No. It's better than thinking. No, because the temperature I have this car in when I'm in it, butter wouldn't last. <laughs> you would turn ball down. It's really hot. <laughs> yeah. And MCs are really hard to clean, aren't they? They are. I'd say it's very squeaky as yeah. well when you get there. So, lads, let us know if you like this. It's a bit of fun. That's all. It's a bit of fun. A bit of fun on your YouTubes. Something different from the reviews. But we'll see how it grows. Let us know what you'd like anyway. And if you if you recognise me and you're wondering where you know me from, I am the Grand Master of the Master Barber. He's a barber. He's a barber. So um, go on to my... He's really good at a barber in, in Mount Streven. Super good. Not super good. Super value. And yeah. there's one in Kildare. Yeah. And where else have you got one? That's a cool looking house, isn't it? It is actually. It's yeah. I think they just done. built that recently. Um, follow me on Instagram. I have... 29,000 followers. On he's, on, he's called the Master Barber Shop, isn't it? Yeah, I have 29,000 followers on Instagram. How, how many of you got? I don't know. 600? No, 1,400 or something. 600. <laughs> <laughs> Lads, I'm running out of diesel here. <laughs> it's all park. leaking out the back of the car. We left the bucket back in the house. <laughs> There's a trail back of the house. I'll never get lost. It's actually very good. Um, you can so follow your way. Follow the trail let, back home. Let us know if you like this. We're ordinary guys having a bit of crack and with some wild things that we're going to do in the future. From the garage, Paul McGann signing out. Good luck. See you on the far side.